So something I've been meaning to get around to for quite a long time is to install a 5C collet chuck on this lathe right here. It's a Grizzly GO765. Um, so I picked up this collet chuck off eBay. It was $169. It's a 5C collet chuck. Doesn't look too bad. I also picked up an adapter plate from littlemachineshop.com. It's the uh, 2347 adapter, which I'm, I'm hoping will work out pretty well for this project. Littlemachineshop.com sells a 5C collet chuck. It's quite a bit more money. It's I think it's around $250. Uh, possibly a better collet chuck. I think maybe it might be a Buck Chuck brand collet chuck, although they don't say that. Um, wasn't quite ready to shell out that kind of money for this thing, so I went with the cheaper one, the cheaper option off eBay, so hopefully I won't regret that. So here we go. Let me, let me try to get, get this going and see what we can do. All right, so when you're removing the chuck from your mini lathe, it's a good idea to throw a 2x4, something under the chuck. Grab yourself a uh, 10 millimeter wrench and uh, just undo the the three nuts that hold your your chuck on the faceplate of your mini lathe. Pretty simple. So I thought I'd throw an indicator on the faceplate of the little heart or little grizzly lathe here just to see what it looks like. It's not too bad as I spin it. One thing I uh, find interesting is if I throw some radial forces on there I can see a little more movement than maybe I expected I would see. So interesting but just uh, the uh, indicator runout seems to be well within well within five tenths here as I spin this on the the grizzly faceplate. So that's what we have to start with. We're definitely not going to be able to do any better than that. So in order to mount the faceplate onto or the adapter plate onto your mini lathe faceplate going to need to install these three little uh, threaded studs. They are what appears to be M6 threads and they protrude out the back off the, the rear face of the adapter plate about 18 millimeters and fortunately I, I didn't have to make these and I didn't have to rob them off the uh, existing chuck because when I uh, I bought this, I bought my lathe from Grizzly and it, it came with a uh, faceplate and the faceplate came with the, uh, an extra set of threaded studs so that was really convenient. So I will borrow those for this adapter plate but I mean if you didn't have those it would be pretty easy to uh, cut up a, uh, an M6 screw but so there it is. So I'm going to mount that on the lathe and I can see that the adapter plate fits into this chuck pretty pretty well. I, I can feel it. There's there's just a little bit of clearance, but I don't know how much. So I'm going to put this thing together and I'll check it with the indicator. And if I don't like it, then I will I will take some skim cuts on this adapter plate and try to make it have a closer fit with the collet chuck. Right. So just put the face plate on the lathe here and uh, it's not too bad I mean we're definitely it's a little shadow so it makes the indicator hard to read but we're we're definitely working inside of one one thousandth of an inch I'm seeing like maybe just over five tenths well we're definitely within a thou for sure, so it's not awful, not terrible. Um, 
Not sure how that collet chuck's gonna fit on here. Uh, I know it doesn't fit perfectly snug, we'll see. Maybe it will be better, maybe it will be worse. Um, maybe the, the slop will work in my favor, I don't know. Check it out. One quick point worth mentioning, I don't know what, what your collet chuck may look like, but mine definitely had a few marks here and the uh, on the registration surface that mounts to the adapter plate so I had to uh, stone all of those down so make sure you take a look at that before you you go ahead and mount up your collet chuck. I'm getting set up here on my GO704 milling machine uh, just dialed in the center bore on the adapter plate so got it pretty good close enough well within a thou so I'm going to go ahead and try to helical mill the three pilot holes for the M8 by 1.25 tapped holes this is actually the first project I'm using this milling machine for since I've converted it over to a CNC so hopefully I did everything right and it will work Well, I got the chuck mounted on the faceplate. I haven't trued the faceplate up, but I got the uh, M8 by 1.25 uh, holes in the faceplate to mount the chuck, so I decided to throw it on there. And uh, just right out of the box, it's not terrible, but getting about two thou uh, run out. So that's not awful. But hopefully we can do a little better after we face that, or uh, after we true up that faceplate. Okay, here we are, the final result. I just got done truing up that adapter plate. I have the chuck mounted. I have it spinning at a low RPM. And I am very happy to say that I have oh, less than five tenths run out here at the end of the uh, collet chuck. So, very pleased with that. I can live with that. That's actually better than I thought it was going to be. So, alright. Have fun. I hope you found this video helpful.